The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. Hope John, the number seven seed, jumps out to a one nothing lead over number ten North Warren in this Hunter and Warren Sussex first round game. While Chad and Connell break in and score for the Lions, the teams then trade a goal before North Warren goes on the run as Lexi Young finds Kelsey Purse for the score, and we are tied at two early in this one. But Pope John responds here as Allie Cressinger feeds Sam Stein, who makes the dodge, and she scores to give Pope John a 4-2 lead over the Pats. And Pope John goes up by three here. Out of the free position, it's Julia Vitolo scoring the second of her five goals, and the Lions take a 6-3 lead. Okay, now watch Pope John in the transition with the great passing as Sidney Logan finds a wide-open Vitolo, who scores again, and Pope John goes up 8-3. Then it's Vitolo again out of the free position for the Lions as she deposits in the back of the net, and it's 9-3 Pope John. Pope John keeps rolling here. This time it's Mackenzie McGuire out of the free position, and she loads up and she scores, and Pope John is soaring with a 10-3 lead. But North Warren stops the bleeding for the moment as Julia Rivera works her way in for the goal for the Pats, and it's a 10-4 game Pope John. But Pope John was firing on all cylinders, Watch Mackenzie McGuire get the corner, and she fires in this blast, and Pope John pushes its lead to 8, 12 to 4, and we're still in the first half. Okay, watch this great look from Julia Vitola, as she feeds Kateri Brooks, who one times it into the back of the net, and the Lions are rolling again. Pretty nice goal right there. All right, watch Brooks do it again, as she plays it off the bounce and fires this rocket, and Pope John is cruising 16 to 4 over the Pats. But North Warren scores before the half as Lexi Young with a good look here to Julia Rivera, who scores again for North Warren, but they trail 16-5 at the half. All right, Pope John picks up the second half where it left off in the first. Julia Vitolo again scores as she goes to the far post for her fifth goal in the Lions lead 18-5. But North Warren is still battling and watch Sarah Kearney get the turn here and she scores and North trails by 12, 18-6. And the Pats get another goal here out of the free position. It's Christine Hughes for North with the goal to make it 19-7 Pope John. Pope John then caps its big day here with this Allie Cressinger goal as they roll to a huge 21-7 victory to advance to face number two Phillipsburg in the Hunter and Warren Sussex quarterfinals. I think we really worked well as a team today. We passed the ball around a lot. We used picks a lot today. And I really think that helped us become a team and everyone get a little bit of goals, everyone get a little bit of time in and we really just came together today. Today we played really good, we had really good transition, you know, we all worked really well together so it worked out in the end. I think we all did really well because we have such a well-rounded team that I know that anybody can convert and we I think we moved the ball around really well today too. We knew coming in that their transition was pretty good and that they had a couple of really quick girls so we wanted to neutralize that by you know winning draws and and keep working on our draws it's been a strength for the past couple of games so we did that and you know we worked the ball well in transition and, and we did some nice jobs with uh, picks and rolls and and working the ball around and, and moving it quick and scoring a lot of goals which is what we want to do you know feeling confident to head into Monday's game. This game was tied at two. North Warren really came back and gave the Pope John Lions a wake-up call. It was kind of confusing at first. I mean, every game, you have a chance at winning. Every game, you start from 0-0. Zero, zero. Whatever team comes out better, it can go to them. You never know. We might come out flat foot and just not get anything. But, um, you know, they put up a good fight. They came out hard. They came out strong. But luckily, we just got away with the win. They came out strong, so that was definitely like um, we didn't. we never played them before, so we didn't really know how they played. So when they came out strong, it was like a awakening to us I guess you could say and but we came out and we gave it back to them so it was like we all knew that what we had to do to convert like to get to the other side of the field and we knew that we all wanted to play really hard for our seniors because this was our last home game it showed that the the minute you lose focus especially on the draw anything can happen and and you know you can let any team into this game very quickly if you just keep losing draws and if they have a little bit of speed they'll break you down you know they get the the odd man situation down down on the goal and it's it's easy to score this Lions attack is so balanced today was Julia Vitola with five goals Allie Cressinger also had a big game we really like to share the goals you know everyone gets some wealth in it you know everyone pass the ball around everyone try to get a goal you know we really think a team effort more than one person running down and scoring I think we work really well together on attack and we're always like looking to transition even when we go from like defense and we bring it all the way up to attack. We um, work really well when, when we're transitioning 
and when we get it to attack, we're always trying to find the open man, and I feel that like we don't force it that much, so it works out well. We have Julia, Shannon, Nicole Burkhard, all of them on attack, and we know that, and plus like all of our midfielders, so we know that everybody can convert, and we all have, we always have somebody to pass to. It's really nice to have that balance, so that on any given day, if somebody's having an, an off day, you know, somebody else can pick up the slack and, and take over and, and score some goals for us and Jules is one of those girls that all year has been a contributor and today she was just on her game and you know found the ball and and found the open spots and and picked her corners on the nets and did a really nice job. With this big victory the Lions now will travel down to Phillsburg to face the number two state liners. We're gonna go down there as hard as we can we're gonna play our best game and hopefully come out with a win and show everyone that we're down to play anyone throw anyone in front of us and we'll come out our hardest and hopefully win. We have Phillsburg on Monday yeah so I think We've never played them before. They're the number two seed, and I think we can do it. We work really well together, and as long as we have hard work and teamwork, I think we can do well. I think that we're going to be ready with like hard week of practice, and we have um, we we played Mount Olive, and I think we did very well in the first half. I mean, we let them slip away, but. I think we did really good against them. If we can win the draws and, and work it down offensively, I think we've been pretty strong all season. There's There's been very few games where where the defense has really been able to, to stop us. So if we can keep the ball on their side of the field, you know, we can probably do some damage and, and you know, pull out a win.